What's up everybody, Derek Ting here. All right, so we're doing a review of the Exogun. I am super excited to bring you this review because I have been looking into um, different devices for massage therapy because uh, there's one main principle of blood flow that I'm, I'm really, really interested in. On my Instagram, some of you guys know that I'm into fitness and so I'll post stuff about like just doing um, dips or pull-ups and things like that, but also things that I'm learning, things that, that um, are really helping me and I, I, you know, so I leave tips on there and if you're interested, I hope to see you on there. But yeah, the concept of blood flow I've found is, you know, is, is really, really fundamental to uh, healing, to feeling good, feeling energetic and potentially like, you know, anti-aging immunity. I think like the concept of blood flow is really, really so important. I've been, I've been kind of researching it myself and, and uh, applying it to my daily life. And so just to let you know, in terms of my lifestyle, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a person who's really interested in just kind of like working fitness into my lifestyle, like as I live, but I still want to be able to enjoy time with my my friends and my family. I want to be able to go out and eat. I want to be able to go out and uh, enjoy, you know, drinking a little bit too, in moderation, obviously. But yeah, uh, and so I'm always looking to kind of optimize that, let's say. I don't want to live a life of sort of restriction and discipline. I actually personally think that's kind of unhealthy too. So anyway, but I want to talk to you about the Exogun and what it's about. So I think it would be important to talk about Theragun because I think they're a brand that kind of leads the industry and um, have really kind of made it, popularized it uh, to have these type of devices to add to your either pre-workout or post-workout. You know, what are the benefits of having a massage gun? Well, one, as I mentioned, is blood flow. Two, it could loosen uh, the muscle. You know, I think it goes back to sort of just the overall performance in general. The, the, the third part is that, you know, performance, whether um, applied to what you want to do. I think that's what the Exogun uh, does. And then what it does is it has pro-level features like the Theragun, but at, at a mid-tier price. It's priced around $150 to $200 US. And, um, you know, doing more research too, and uh, you can, and these things have proliferated across, you know, all, all the different um, potentials where you can get a massage therapy gun for like 50 to 100 US dollars. And some is even, I saw someone for like 30 US dollars. So it's like, okay, you can go really inexpensive. But is that what you want in a device that you're applying and using? I don't know. Some of those devices, I think, you know, you can follow some of the Amazon reviews or the, some of the star ratings and listen to the reviews and, and get your own opinion. But usually I think at, uh, you know, finding something in that kind of middle range, which kind of does what you wanted to do, but at an affordable price, that's always, you know, a great, a great thing. And then if you really enjoy it, then you can consider getting the top line. Or if you're really into it and you know you're going to do it, just get the top line. Don't even think about it. But uh, let's talk about the Exogun. It has a similar standard length of 16 millimeters for, you know, this kind of vibration thing. And um, so that's pretty standard. The number of percussions per minute, because this is called percussion therapy, is very similar in range to others on the market. The stall force is at the top. So let me explain stall force. Stall force is essentially when you turn it on and um, are you going to try to stop it, which is not that easy to do. Mm. See, I can't do it. There you go. So 60 pounds is a lot, and then you can turn it up even more. Four, five, and six. That has to do more with the percussions per second, but um, the stall force is 60. So as I mentioned, it's pro level. I would say if you're um, just starting out or you're a very beginner, I would consider getting like 40 pound stall force or below, uh, just because I think 60 could actually be pretty dangerous in a way. So be careful where you put this, be careful where you uh, leave it. I wouldn't just leave it around and then, you know, one of your kids tries it and hurts themselves. Uh, or anybody, or a normal person, they could, they, you could actually hurt yourself massaging on different parts of your body. You don't want to put it on your head or your joints. You got to be careful with too. So th there's a lot of, th there's a lot of dangers to this. I wouldn't um, just be like very casual about using this. So but yeah, as you saw, it's very simple to use though. You turn the power button on, then you increase six intensities, and then you turn it off by cycling through. So 
at the end. You, that's how you turn it off. I would have liked to see just a general on and off button and then being able to leave your setting. But, you know, I guess maybe for button simplicity, I don't know. That's that's my personal preference. That would be a recommendation, but it's not. It's obviously not a deal breaker for me because it's still pretty simple to use. It comes with three different attachments. I haven't tried them, but they're for probably getting out some really tough knots or different parts of your body also too. So, you know, definitely do your research on that. In terms of weight, I think this is where it excels. It's about one pound, which is um, compared to other devices, some of them are two to three pounds and those can, you know, add weight to your, your luggage if you're traveling around. It handles different voltages, 110 to 240 when you're charging it. And actually the battery is pretty good. Like I've had it for like a week and I've used it casually, like really not that often, but it's still at 99%. So um, it's advertised to be up to a month. So I, I think actually the battery is it's pretty good. So yeah, so overall, I think this is a pretty simple review after you talked about like what the you know massage therapy devices do. I would recommend it for sure if you're looking for that mid-priced device that's going to provide pro level features. You're not you're not interested as much as let's say like the app that their their gun provides or anything like that. You just want that tool to do the things that you want it to do. Um, I think it does it well. It's easy to throw in your bag for a pound of weight. I think that's you know, totally worth it to bring it in your gym bag as well. Because it's not so expensive, you're not gonna really worry about as much of it getting lost or damaged. I would definitely recommend this device if, if uh, you're looking to try out massage therapy. But again, I would look at some devices that have a lower stall force if you're just really, really being very basic about it and you wanna uh, just try it out. And um, you know, because you can really hurt yourself if you just really kind of putting that massage device on like you know any kind of your 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 muscles you got to be careful i hope you enjoy this review uh and uh, i enjoyed using the exogun i'm definitely going to use it in my workout because i think uh, as i mentioned i'm really into blood flow i'll keep you updated on how's it going but in the meantime please subscribe and like my video and i'll catch you next time thanks